Tapping the potential of online shopping trend. A proposed application of e-commerce system. Online shopping has becoming a norm because of its simplicity. Businesses are offering online store in meeting their customers' demand. Famous brands such as Versace, Gucci, Topshop, Dorothy Perkins had implemented this system years ago. Established in Malaysia, the ONI Group is a high-end fashion retailer which has more than 700 sales outlets and 70 boutiques across Asia. It markets footwear, high fashion leatherwear and accessories. It is also involved in manufacturing activities. This company does not have their online store and we will try to explore why they should have one. Customers are more demanding than ever. Customers want the convenience of buying their desired apparel from home. This is due to busy and hectic lifestyle. Some customers want to avoid crowd. On the contrary, some customers could not buy their desired apparel because it is not sold in their place. We believe that a good company should try to resolve these issues in order to serve their customers. It is important to identify this company's current position in the market before resolving the problems. We will use Porter's competitive force model to understand and analyze this company's position in the market. Firms of equal size in a particular market will have to contend for the same resources. This will result in a stiff competition. The firms will have to fight for market share and find a way to attract consumers. Some of the existing competitors for this company are Versace, Gucci, Topshop and Mango. Threat of substitute goods In the apparels industry, consumers are being shaped by the current trend in the world. For instance, celebrities either local or not, are shaping the way people dressed. It is difficult to find a visible substitute in clothing industry as firms are always vigilant about changes in consumers' preference. However, consumers will substitute for a better product if the one they are using are of lesser quality and obsolete. The Power of Buyers Switching cost is relatively low as customers have many choices in the market. If they are not satisfied with the quality and service offered by a firm, they can always buy from another firm. The most important factor to consider is the kind of fashion adopted by the firm in their apparel. The Power of Suppliers this company produce their own clothing without outsourcing. Thus, the power of suppliers will arise in the purchase of raw materials. The raw materials available are numerous, especially from foreign countries which could be cheaper. In the case of the retail industry, the bargaining power of suppliers are weak because if they raise the prices or reduce the quality, there will be other suppliers available for a firm to choose from, especially from other countries such as China, Vietnam and India. Besides, the switching cost between suppliers is low as the basic materials needed to manufacture clothing are abundant. New Market Entrance the existing companies have already established themselves in the industry. They are operating at a lower cost because of the size of their operation and economies of scale. 
These well-established companies are more efficient and they will have more knowledge than any emerging firms. Besides, they have more brand visibility than the newcomers. It is not likely for the newcomers to be a threat for this company due to the price or quality factors. We concluded that the real threats for this company are existing competitors, substitute product and the power of consumers. This company is competing with so many brands from all over the world. This is due to globalization where people can easily communicate and exchange information. Famous brands have taken this opportunity to show their presence in Asian market as well. Consumers are benefited from this strategy as they will have more choices. In order to assess the business process, we will use value chain analysis model. We had identified the business process undertake by this company in delivering their products. In this work, our focus is on sales process. Overall, we believe that this business process for sales provide a value added service to this company retail merchant. Each of the activity has its own important function and collectively they ensure smooth and effective flow of selling process. Still, this is not enough. This business process does not add much value to their retail customers. The company has to improvise this business process so that it can incorporate values for their retail customers as well. A new activity that support direct interaction between the firm and their retail customer must be added in order to satisfy their customers' wants. This is the area that needs changes with respect to their business process in a view to create more value to their retail customers. The analyzed information that we obtained from Porter's and value chain model analysis will serve as the input to generate ideas for new business strategy using SWOT analysis. The table clearly shows the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of this company. From this finding, the best way for this company to make use of its strength and at the same time seizing the opportunity ahead is by implementing e-commerce system. The weaknesses can be addressed as e-commerce system will serve as a medium for retail customers to interact with the firm. Besides, the system will indirectly promote the firm globally, addressing the problem of less brand visibility. The best strategy for this is product differentiation by giving their customers the convenience of buying their products online through e-commerce system. To conclude, we believe that this new system will be able to resolve the problems discussed in the SWOT analysis. We are confident that this system will help this company to improve its business process and create more value to their customers. This will surely lead to increase in profitability.